Hello and welcome to this demonstration video of the XMB9640 module balancer. In this video we will go more in depth of the tool and show you which accessories come with the XMB, how to attach them properly and we will go through some of the options in the application. Before we start, here is a quick overview of all the accessories that come with our basic package. Starting off with a low fold module interface harness, followed up by the A917, a module chip interface adapter, an IMI2404, a high voltage cable and a cable to connect the IMI2404 to the XMB. For a more detailed description of these accessories, visit our website. Power on the XMB and you will first need to select which user is going to work with the XMB. This will give you a clear oversight of who and when someone was using the tool in your database. It is mandatory that you follow the correct safety procedures from our instructions before you start working on our tools. Now let's connect all the accessories to the module and the XMB. Plug in the A917 interface into the IMI2404 and insert the low fold module interface into the A917 and plug it in the module. Make sure you also plug in the black cable into the IMI and into the XMB. This will convert the analog data from the module into digital. Connect the high voltage cable into the XMB. It is strictly mandatory that safety procedures are followed for the next steps. Use the thumb screws on the high voltage cable to connect the cable to the plus and minus side of the module. You have now successfully connected the module to the XMB and you can start working in the application. In the main menu, you will see a selection of a few options. Module balancing, transportation discharge, module diagnostics, history, messages and settings. Let's go through the three main apps starting off with module diagnostics. Over here, you can see the overall statistics of the module, a general overview and the cell voltage of each cell and the average cell temperature of the module. The transportation discharge application is used to discharge the module to a safe state of charge level for transportation. Fill in your module type and you will notice a target's voltage is already set and cannot be changed. Press next. And after initialization, the XMB will show an overview of your module. By clicking next, the XMB will now discharge the module to a safe state of charge level. If for any reason you need to stop, press stop on the bottom right. The module balancing application is used to balance the module up to your desired state of charge level. Select the module type and fill in the information of the module or simply scan the module with our wireless barcode scanner and set your target voltage. Notice that the XMB will warn you if your target voltage is too high or too low. Once you have set a correct desired target voltage, press next. After the initialization, the XMB will now balance the module to the desired target voltage. When the module balancing is done, you can see the results and you can also choose to email your results. Here is an example of such an email. In the history tab, you can find back your old results and who performed them. In the messages tab, you can find back previous error messages or other messages that have occurred. In the settings tab, you change several settings like your Wi-Fi. Add an email address to your address book, setting your preferred language, adjust the brightness, set your preferred unit for the temperature, set your date and time, put in your company name and address so you don't need to fill it in every time. And of course you can see which version you're on and you're able to also reset the device to the factory settings. This has been our demonstration of the XMB9640 module balancer. Take note that not every module is the same and we at Mitronics are searching and developing new solutions to fit your needs. Mitronics, we will get you there. Visit our webpage for more information and subscribe to our channel for weekly videos every Monday to stay up to date with our products, our technology and our company. So hopefully we'll see you next week.